free up man like Andrew Tate, man. I just see one video and they're basically saying that he could spend up to like 180 days in jail. And it just got me thinking like there's a couple of things I hate with the law in the UK. And it's probably the same for America, isn't it? Like our laws are pretty much similar. England sucks. America's batty, obviously, as you know already, you know. <laughs> a man could get killed in America by the police and you got British people protesting and rioting in the fucking UK. And a man in the UK, a man in London get licked down by the police and Americans just go on about their day like it's nothing, fam. But anyway, there's a couple of things I would love to see changed about the UK law and, and how they deal with people like, you know, criminals and that. So obviously, like I just said, the mention about Andrew Tate getting held on remand. So basically, remand is, they believe, you know, you've committed a crime and that, and, you know, depends on what evidence they find and that, whether you're going to go to trial and that. So basically, they're keeping you locked up because they have a fear that you could possibly escape uh, the country or not turn up to court and that. I've never been held on remand. If you ever heard of HMP Feltham, that's a youth offending, uh, that's a youth prison. That's a remand centre. So anyone that gets sentenced and that, they may they may leave Feltham and go to a different prison and that, innit? So anyway, the thing I don't like about the UK law is, yeah, they can hold man on remand and that. But if a man is found not guilty, you know, a man doesn't get compensated for his time. I believe if you hold someone on remand, if they're found not guilty, they should get compensated for every single Ross Clark day that they spend in jail. They will have a man sitting down on remand, possibly an innocent man sitting down on remand, possibly for 120, 180, 360 fucking days of the year to be then found not guilty. Obviously, you know what I'm saying, innit? Yeah, there ain't too many Jehovah's Witness or doctors and lawyers that are getting put on remand and that for guns and stabbings and shootings and that. But sometimes, sometimes, unfortunately, Sometimes innocent people do get locked up in that. Innocent people do get held on remand. I believe the man them, well, and the girl them as well, there's certain, certain chicks that are getting caught up in madness and that. I believe if they're found not guilty, then they should be compensated for every single fucking day. Imagine me. Imagine me getting held on remand. And I'm away for six months and that. What's going to happen to my fucking properties and that? Remember, I'm not working, you know. I don't know if I can freeze my mortgages and that that could be a possibility and that but man don't even want to have to go down that route obviously if I get held on remand probably I have done something but sometimes some people get set up and that there are a few one or two innocent people out here that you know man will set them up get me plant drugs on them and that and then they get held on remand for six months and that end up busting case to bust cases to mean you know no further action, you get let out, nothing in it. Them people there should be compensated for their time behind bars and that because, you know, as you can imagine, as you can imagine, it's not fun sitting down in jail. There's so much life to live. You know what I'm saying, innit? It's no fun sitting down in jail. And in some idiots, well, I don't like, because some people feel like, well, boy, if someone is suspected of doing a crime, yeah, you should just lock them up until you find evidence and that and... You get me? They should be trialed and that. Certain people will feel like, well, I don't commit any crimes and that. So, yeah, lock them up, lock them up. Let me tell you something, you little pussy, all in it. Because a lot of people feel like they're law abiding citizens and that, and they really ain't. Let me tell you something right now. If the fucking judge, if the police was to watch every single. Let me tell you something. Everybody does something now and then that is illegal. Everyone does something now and then. That if a judge or the police was watching them like a fucking hawk every minute of their day, they could find something. It could be down to fucking driving with your phone in your hand. Taking some money, you know, you're getting paid for local plumbing work or whatever. Because electricians don't take money cash in hand, obviously. That's only other trace people. Taking some money cash in hand and not declaring it. You could get done up for not paying tax, you know. They can lock you up for not paying tax, you know. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I swear it's illegal to download 
songs off of YouTube without paying for it on iTunes or Spotify or whatever. I don't know. I've never used Spotify, but I'm sure it's one of them places where you download music. That is an offence. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm down in the comment section, blood. Everybody does something or has done something illegal that could potentially put them in prison. Every fucking body. Whether it was when they were 12 years old or 35 years old or even 60. People let their dogs shit on the floor. Imagine you do that offence enough times and you get caught. Bro, they might want to lock you up for that. Oh, I don't commit crimes. I don't commit crimes. Everyone does something. Whether it's minor, whether it's major, everyone has done something, has done something in the fucking past, blood. Mate, over here, trying to act like it's on goody two-shoes, blood. But, um, yeah, I feel like if a man is held on remand or a, girl, or a chick's held on remand, if there's insufficient evidence to convict them, then they need to be compensated for their time away. The The government shouldn't have a, should not have free reign to just lock up people, lock up people and that. Yeah, lock them up, yeah, if they're guilty. Lock them up, put them on remand, if you find them guilty, yeah? You better hope you find them guilty, because if you don't find them guilty, you need to release them and compensate them for the time behind bars. The second thing, and this one pisses me off the most, yeah, someone could waver the one that I just said, the one I just mentioned about, oh, you know, if someone's held on remand and that, then you don't need to compensate them or whatever, innit? because more than likely, if they're held on remand, there is sufficient evidence to, to lock them up. And that is why people do get held on remand if they believe that there's enough evidence to lock them up and that. Um, you know, if they if they weren't involved in anything, they wouldn't get held on remand and that. Fine. Someone could say, yeah, wave that, dash that out the window, innit? Yeah, like, yeah, just lock lock people up on remand if there's some sort of evidence there in it because more than likely they're going to get convicted and that. But this next one, they need to seriously do something about this. There are women, yeah? who accuse men of violating them and sometimes the, the case is dropped due to a lack of evidence and I'm thinking to myself if I'm in someone's yard with a couple of people and the homeowner's house uh, it's the homeowner's house the person who owns the house their phone goes missing in that yeah you could, or if I, let's say I was even the only person in the house and the homeowner wants to accuse me of stealing their phone. Let's say, for example, I get arrested and that and the case gets dropped because there's a lack of evidence and that. Cool. We can just sweep that underneath the carpet and go, go on about our, our business and because you don't know what happened to the phone. But imagine there is no woman, yeah, who could falsely accuse a man of violating them, blood. It's either he did it or you're fucking lying. You should be able to prove somehow all the time that this guy actually did violate this woman. Of course you should be able to prove it. Man, I don't want to go into the details and technicalities and that. But if a man violated, then there's going to be some trace or, um, you get me, evidence left behind if you get what I'm trying to say. So therefore, no man should ever bust case if a man is convicted of violating a fucking woman, blood. These women that fucking lie about men violating them, they need to do the exact same sentence that the man would have fucking got if he was convicted, blood. How the fuck can... You know how much women accuse... I'm sure Drake, something happened with Drake. All these celebrities and that, they get accused of violating women and then the case gets dropped and that. And the woman just gets to go on about her business. The man's reputation is fucked. No one wants to endorse him. Man will drop him out of different fucking... Um, Sponsorships and that man might have a tig with Adidas. Adidas don't want to fuck with him no more. And then a woman just gets to walk free, go home, do her thing and that. No, she should be held accountable. There's no way. Like I said, a man could be, you know what I mean, you know, accuse the wrong person of teeth in his phone or something like that. But there's no way a man could be accused of doing violating a woman and a woman's um incorrect about that man that's bullshit blood the woman them that accused the men of violating them they should do the exact same ras clark sentence blood i did see in the newspaper though one time i think a woman got done for perverting the course of justice and she just got some idiot like six months and that no lock her blood clot up you're allowing women to to to, to pull the r card too often nowadays 
lock them Ras Clark up. Imagine that. Imagine you get accused of some madness and that, and a woman just gets to walk free. But anyway, man, that's it for today, man. So, yeah, that remand thing. If men are getting locked up and held on remand and that, if they bust case, it's probably because there was a lack of evidence. More than likely, it's because they was innocent. Yeah, let's just assume. Let's assume that if they bust case, they were in innocent. They should be compensated for their time. And the women them that, oh, he did this. If the guy didn't do that, then they should serve the time. They should serve five years in jail. Why not? Why not? Because now we're just allowing people to just make all these false accusations and that. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if there was a law to say, if you accuse a man of this, and we find out that you actually lied, because it's either you're telling the truth or not. It's not like the mobile phone thing where it could be a grey area. No. If you actually fucking lied, you are going to do five years. I guarantee you, blood, there'll be a lot less accusations. Because if I'm going to go to the police and say, this person done this to me, and I know it's a fact, I will take the chance that I could do 10, 25 years in jail. Because I'm super, I, I know for a fact this person done it and I can prove it. You know these women on, it's all about peas for these women. I think it even happened to Drake. So some woman accused him of doing some madness or whatever, innit? His lawyer, so Drake's lawyer and, and the woman's lawyer met up and it came to an agreement. Pay the woman like $300,000 and she'll keep her mouth shut. The woman took the $300,000. That's how you, that's what you, that's how you know it was all about money. That's how you know it was bullshit. If a man violate you, you have a duty of care to lock him up, you know. Do you know why? To stop the next potential 10 women. You see all these women that come out after 10 years, 20 years. Oh, this person done this, this person done that. If the first girl that got violated went to the police and that, they would not have been the 10th, the 20th victim. The man would have been locked up straight away. So women watch this right now. If a man violate you and that, you got a duty of care to make sure he gets locked up and that. Not just for yourself, for the future fucking victims. How can a man, quote unquote, violate a woman, but then she's going to take £300,000 to keep her mouth shut? Um, a man violating you should not be, you, you, there should be no price on it. Anyway, man, that's it for today, man. Stay wise. Done, man.